Hello, so I thought that in today's video it's just gonna be like a really quick video because I did say in my last one which was me showing you my new product that I brought out. I did say that I was gonna do a video showing you how to use this and I was gonna do it in a skincare routine, like a whole video, but I kinda wanna do like a full face of body shop skincare video instead and obviously this wouldn't be that. So I'm just gonna do a video on its own showing like how to use it. So this is what it looks like. If you've seen that video, you'd already know. And it's my lemon scented cleansing balm. This one is actually a bit thicker than what you would get. So obviously I had to experiment with textures and everything like that and this is a little bit thicker than the one that you would buy the one that you'd buy looks like this one in here but it would actually be in a tin so it's that like mixture in the tin i just wanted it to be a bit softer if you're going to compare it to other cleansing balms that are from different brands the body shop one is a little bit kind of harder so it's like a hard texture and then when you put it on your skin it melts in Mine is more comparable to one from Elemis or the Emma Hardy cleansing balm. So it's a little bit softer in the actual jar and it just kind of goes onto your skin a bit softer. It blends out just the same, but I just wanted it to be a little bit kind of softer texture. And then when you put it onto your face, it melts into your skin anyway and melts away your makeup. But I'll just show you how to use it if you haven't used a cleansing balm before. On my website, it says to take an almond sized amount. It depends how much makeup you've got on, because for me, some days I've got on loads, some days I've not got on so much. So you need to kind of tailor it to like how much makeup you've got on. So once you've dotted it around your face, then start to kind of work it in. And this is when you start to realize that it starts melting. If you like immediately apply it to your skin, it doesn't necessarily feel like it's doing anything, but you have to like work it in and then it starts melting. Right, it's an oil-based product. So when it's like, cold it will be hard and then as soon as it gets heated up it gets warm again oh by the way if you can hear anything it's just jamie upstairs and like watching a youtube video so yeah just blend it in and it just melts away like your makeup as it melts the product itself and massage it into the skin it's a really easy product to use the benefits of using a cleansing balm there's loads but the main benefits is that it's quicker than any other product because it just kind of like melts into your skin and melts your makeup away like with you just rubbing your face you don't need to get like loads of stuff and start you know doing things to it with micellar waters and everything like that also sometimes i do take a little bit extra just for my eyes in fact i accidentally took too much there so i kind of just warm it up underneath my eye and then i just take it over start with the eyebrows um, but yeah, this is great for any skin type, dry skin, oily skin, anything. Like it doesn't matter what your skin type is. It's also good for sensitive skin because the products are natural products. It's not a vegan product because it does have beeswax in it, but that's to make it like solidify it. Otherwise the product wouldn't really work. And most brands um, have balms that contain beeswax. So you just kind of gently rub and it just rubs everything away as you can see. And you're not like pulling hard on your eyelashes. A lot of removal, like makeup removal products, you have to like drag over your eyes. And obviously that's damaging to your eyes. It can age and give you wrinkles and also it can like pull eyelashes out. So that's not great. That's why this product is good. Now, everything is kind of like blended out now. I would recommend getting a muslin cloth. I am going to start selling some on my website at some point, but for now, I'm just going to have to use a wet wipe to just remove the product. So this is not a wet wipe to remove my makeup. It's just a wet wipe to remove the balm and my makeup together that's on the surface of my skin. So you don't have to drag really hard, but just take that and then just a little wipe. And it's really satisfying because it just wipes it like straight off like that. It's so easy and just do that all around your face. If you've got dry skin, this will be a good product because it's very moisturizing and obviously it is oil based. Okay, then the other side, so that side's the dirty side, swap it over like this. And yeah, I would just never go back to any other um, like makeup removal product. I do use a cleanser after using this because I treat this as my makeup removal product. I always have done with any cleansing balm, not just my own. So I always cleanse afterwards just to make sure I treat this as like makeup removal and then the cleanser is there to actually clean my skin. So I'm just gonna kind of, that's what it was on my face. I'm just gonna flip that over and then I'm gonna just do my eyebrows just to get any like product off them. 
you don't need to pull hard because obviously the product's already out of them and then my eyes so you just kind of swoop over and then grab like a little bit and just remove the balm from underneath the eyes like that so i just make sure that it's not in my hairline because i do actually put my makeup like through to my hairline so it doesn't kind of look weird but yeah makeup's completely removed and that is my little balm i use this every single day to remove my makeup and if i don't wear makeup i don't use it i just use a cleanser but i use it if i'm like removing my makeup and yeah it's definitely one of those products that's more popular than it ever has been before because people have started to realize that cleansing balms are better for the environment because you're not you know obviously i can't really speak because i'm using a wet wipe but you're meant to use a muslin cloth but they're better for the environment because it's just a balm and you're just rubbing it into your skin there's no actual things to throw away and also it's very softening to your skin and hydrating and nourishing and all that stuff and yeah your skin just feel really soft i'm gonna go and cleanse it with a cleanser from the body shop maybe in the future i will come out with an actual facial wash but we will see so that is me doing a little demo of my product also just a quick reminder i have literally just put on my website some new face mask brushes these are the different colors you can get blue pink and yellow the one that i like to use and the one that's my favorite is this yellow one because i just like i don't know if you can tell i kind of like yellow so yeah it's silicone so it's not an actual brush but it actually applies the face masks really really well so i've got those and also i've got some headbands back on my website i'll just show you yeah here they are there's three colors blue cream or white and pink so yeah go and check that out i'll link down my website in the description i'll link down my cleansing balm because obviously that's what i've shown how to use in this video um but i'll also link down my website in general go and have a little look on it and hopefully now you know how to use the product and everything like that if you haven't used a balm cleanser before and i will try and come out with some muslin cloths or some kind of cloth to remove this so that you're not having to throw away wet wipes like me but i'm just using these up because these are what i had in the cupboard anyway so thanks for watching this video and i will see you in my next video goodbye